Brittany and I'm back today with another weekly weigh-in since it is Friday and I'm going to keep this pretty short and sweet today so let's just get right into the weigh-in results. Last week I was 203 pounds, no, last week I weighed in at 202 pounds and I was really, really excited because I was convinced that this was the week I was going to be under 200 pounds which a full two pound loss in a week is a lot to ask but I was really hoping to get there and unfortunately I did not. But I did weigh in this morning at 200.6, so I'm almost there. I'm so close. That's a 1.4 pound loss for the week, so I'm really happy about that. I can't be upset about that. But again, like I said, I just really wanted to reach that 200 mark, especially because Monday's my birthday. But um, hopefully next week will be my week, so keep your fingers crossed for me that I hit Wonderland. I can't wait to be back there again. And... Um, so yeah, that's where I am weigh-in wise, and I also do have comparison pictures from November 1st to December 1st for you guys, so I will put those up right here. And then, um, so like I just said, these were from November 1st to December 1st, but I started the Wheat Belly Diet on November 6th. So this is one month difference in the pictures, um, but about three weeks on the Wheat Belly Diet. So... From looking at the pictures, what I see is I can see a difference in my legs and in my arms, but I really, really want to lo start losing more weight in my stomach. Um, I've always carried most of my weight in my stomach, and it's always been the last place that I lose, so that's really, really frustrating. Um, but it is nice to see the changes in my body in a positive way, and um, you know, taking the pictures really has kept me motivated to keep on going because even though the changes are small, they're there, and I think every single month I'm going to do pictures and show you guys the progression. Hopefully things will keep going this smoothly for me. Um, so what else? Um, so I've been following the Wheat Belly Diet. I've incorporated a lot, like really high fat into my diet. So a lot of nuts, eggs, oil. Um, I started drinking Bulletproof Coffee and if you don't know what that is, I highly suggest you look it up or I can make a video about it if you guys want to know about it just let me know down below and I will definitely do a video about it because it's something that I love and I feel like it helps keep the cravings away it keeps me full and I love it um, aside from that I did do the Jillian Michaels 30 day shred this week um, I did it I think four times but it might have been three but I think four um, so I'm gonna continue on doing that and hopefully the weight keeps coming off because it's just, I've, I'm so excited that I finally found something that's working for me. Because if you've been here for any length of time, you may know that um, over the past year or so, since I've been doing this, year and a half maybe, I've just struggled so much. I've just struggled. I lose a little weight and then put it back on or not lose any weight for long periods of time. And so this is the first thing that I found that I honestly feel like is truly, truly working for me. So if you have not heard of the Wheat Belly Diet and you've tried everything, but you know, you're ready to try something else, then let me know. I can do a video all about it if you would like, or you could just go to wheatbelly.com or wheatbellyblog.com. I will leave those down below for you. There's also an extremely supportive Facebook group called Wheat Belly, and um, it's just such a good group. The author of the book, Wheat Belly, is very... Um, He's very involved there, and which is so nice, and the people there are very supportive and, and informative, so I love that group. Um, I will also leave that link down below if you're interested. So, yeah, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed my weigh-in and my pictures. Um, if you have any questions for me, just leave them down below. Let me know how you're doing on your health and fitness journeys. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I would love to have you follow my journey, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.